So my name is Vicky and I'm a co-founder of CodeEdit. And today I'm gonna present um, NFTs on Kusama using IPFS and Textile. So uh, what's, what's actually CodeEdit? CodeEdit started as a Vue.js implementation of Polkadot. If you ever used Polkadot blockchain, you have to, had to use actually Polkadot.js. And that's how we started. And then after finishing it, we moved to and we moved to NFTs and ongoing wave. So now we have like first multi-language NFT gallery on Kusama using IPFS. And today I'm gonna show you how to create your NFT. Actually, it's really easy. And what's non-fungible token exactly? It's like unique item on on the blockchain you can imagine non-fungible token as something rare as artwork card car or whatever mm, what's what's actually nice or what's actually unique is that you have it on chain with additional metadata so you can prove that you are owner and that item is unique and actually how we implemented it usually in Ethereum, you use smart contracts and ERC721 smart contract, but unfortunately, Kusama doesn't have a smart contract. So at the time, Bruno Schwartz introduced uh, Remark.app. It's on-chain standard for uh, Kusama NFTs, and you actually write the transaction inside the block in, inside the blockchain. So how does it work? It's, as I mentioned, it's byte on chain and it's actually super expensive to save everything on blockchain. So imagine posting posting image or GIF or even video on, IP, on, on blockchain, it has to be like super, super pricey. So then actually IPF has made sense to make it cheap, cheaper, more effective and verifiable. So as you can see on the picture down below, this is what the remark looks like. It has it's HTML encoded text. So we have like a set of tools or there is defined set of tools, how to parse it and how to actually make, make it work. And how we use IPFS, we automatically upload the, the NFTs or the images and metadata onto the IPFS, we use multiple gateways uh, from US and Europe, we use Pinata. It's actually super easy to use it. So definitely worth to try. And how does the process look like? You actually, we fill out the form, sub submit it, then we are waiting to auto pin metadata and image, then user signed and send the transaction to the blockchain. And then we are waiting for the blockchain finalization because you can decide to actually cancel the, tra the transaction. So it's definitely worth the wait. And then we are inserting into the ThreadDB. ThreadDB is a textile non-SQL database. It's really fast and really smooth. And we are, we are using it to syn synchronize state uh, of the NFTs. Imagine if you need, if you had to Sync it, by, sync it by yourself. You can grab a coffee, take a nap, and still it wouldn't be loaded. So it's definitely worth, worth to have it synchronized. Also, we introduced something called emos. So it's emojis for NFT. So you can have you can have actually on-chain likes. So it's wow. And also we have pets. So if you use, for example, Twitter, you have sort of list or user curated list. So we have same thing for NFTs. So you can pick your, pick your favorite NFTs and share it with a friend. And does it, maybe let's look at the demo. So we, so we open NFT that could have the, what is that? So actually I reload it. So this is how uh, create looks like. We have two forms, we have collections and NFTs. So usually every NFT should belong to the collection, but we have the latest feature called single NFT. So it automatically creates collection 
and one single NFT. So let's take a look, symbol as IPFS. Then a token, it automatically calculates ID, serial number and collection is automatically calculated. So IPFS demo could be a nice name. You know, IPFS. So let's put description IPFS meetup would be fine. And now we upload image. So hope I have some, oh, cool IPFS. And let's mint it. So now it's automatic, as you see on the console, it's pinning the image. It will pin the metadata shortly after. I hope so. It's taking a bit long. And then it will wait, it will. Okay. Right. Oh, cool. So as you see, this is this is the signer, something like MetaMask or its Polkadot extension. So sign the transaction. And now we are waiting to finalize the block. As the standard set, as the remark standard says, we have to wait for the block or we need the block for NFT to be valid. So we are waiting for to some finalization. Okay, it's finalized. Oh, cool. So we got our NFTs. And if we take a look on the gallery now, oh yes, it's here. Still it's IPFS, so, oh, it's here, cool. So moreover, as I mentioned before, you can, you, we have something called emote. So we can have, he will like it. For example, this one, and it's still like on chain. So, oh, cool. So we have on chain like first of it, first of its kind, and also I can save it to the collection. And after that, I can show it to my friend. We are working on it, so it's testing fraud. So I definitely uh, be happy if you try it by yourself. Just buy some Kusama and try it. It's definitely cheaper and faster than actually Ethereum. The whole collection with five NFTs was like five dollars, so it's nothing in opposed to actual gas fees. And don't forget to follow us on Codedot on Twitter. And if you have something on mind or something what should be improved, just shoot me DM on Twitter on Wikival. So thanks for joining.